Hi friends, so in this video, I'll be providing a detailed write-up for drip irrigation system. So if you are going and presenting uh, any science projects related to drip irrigation systems, then definitely this video will be very useful for you. First of all, we'll try to understand what is drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is also known as a drip line irrigation, which is a form of irrigation which supplies water and uh, fertilize uh, slowly to the water. If you can see in this picture, there is a water is available in this tank and the water is getting supplied for uh, uh, every plant via drip pipe. Directly the water will go into the roots in this drip irrigation method. Because of that, which results in a higher yields or higher yields in the crop by using this drip irrigation system. Then what is the difference between a drip irrigation system or a sprinkler irrigation system? The drip irrigation, as we said, directly it sprays the water into the ground of the plant where plant roots are available. Directly it soaks the ground by using drip irrigation. But in a sprinkler irrigation, water is supplied on top of the plant. A sprinkler irrigation requires a huge energy, huge pumping mechanism to supply the water in a more pressurized way. Because of that, it consumes too much electricity as well. Then we'll try to understand what are the benefits of uh, drip irrigation. By using drip irrigation, you can uh, save a lot of water. That is the first advantage uh, of using drip irrigation because uh, there is no water is getting wasted uh, while it is running through the land and uh, it saves from evaporation and also it doesn't spray too much water. Whatever the water which is required for a given plant, only that will get used in the drip irrigation. We will also save the power bills using this drip irrigation and also it eliminates pests and weeds using this drip irrigation. Then we understood the benefits or advantages of drip irrigation. I will try to understand what is the disadvantages of drip irrigation. Drip irrigation uh, basically the entire system may get clogged if we are not maintained properly. If you are not maintained this drip irrigation pipeline properly, it may happen that uh, the water is not getting supplied for the, all the plants. Where should we use the drip irrigation or suitable for drip irrigation? We can use this drip irrigation system in the, all the vegetable crops or in the flower uh, crops, even fruit crops you can use, even the tree crops also you can use this drip irrigation system. Then we will try to understand what are the types of soil uh, which is very beneficial by using this drip irrigation. Drip irrigation works very great in the clay soil. So how to clean the drip irrigation system? Because once we lay the tubes into the field, then how will you ensure that your drip pipelines are clean enough? For that, what you should do is, you should remove all the end caps and pump the water via those small pipes so that all the minute particles will go away if then drip irrigation system will be get completely cleaned. How often should you run the drip irrigation? Do we require to pour the water every day using this drip irrigation? Not really required. Even if you just water once in a week is also more than enough by using the drip irrigation mechanism. How long the drip irrigation system really lasts? Drip irrigation system nearly lasts for 10 to 15 years. As long as you are maintaining properly, then your drip irrigation systems definitely it will last for long. Which top countries which adopts this drip irrigation or uses this drip irrigation? One is China is a top uh, country which is using. The second one is India. Third is United States and fourth is Pakistan. These are the top four countries which makes use of the drip irrigation systems. Then who invented the drip irrigation system? Drip irrigation system is invented in Israel country by Simcha Blas and his son Yasha Yahoo in 1959. These are the some of the questions you might get in whenever you are presenting this drip irrigation working model. 
I am hoping this information you can use for your project file as well. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. 